Okay, so let's pack a camera bag for an upcoming trip to New York City. So this trip has a pretty stacked itinerary with over 40 different locations that we plan to shoot in just two days. I don't think it's possible, but. So that means it's gonna be a lot of walking around, a lot of run and gun, and I don't want to be lugging around a massive backpack with me. So I'm going up with my friend Cam. He's gonna drive there with me. It's about seven hours from where I live. Real quick pit stop on this intro. These things are my new obsession. They're those Daneson toothpicks. This is the single malt scotch toothpick. They also have some bourbon ones that I'm waiting on in the mail right now, but these are definitely coming with me. I'm now a toothpick connoisseur. I don't know, I'm not kicking a habit or anything. I just think these are epic. So Cam is gonna be driving up with me. He is a beginner photographer. He just picked up his first camera like a couple months ago. We went to Newfoundland together. He loved shooting. So I asked him if he wants to come along on this trip to New York City. If anybody's been to New York, they know that anywhere you point your camera is an outrageous photo. So I figured what better spot to practice photography than in New York. So all that aside, we are going to be in New York for only two days. Again, it's very run and gun. I want my carry or my camera bag to be as minimal as possible. I want one good camera, maybe two, that I can rely on to get all of the shots and all of the different scenes and settings that I plan to be in. So let's pack that bag and see what that looks like. Okay, so first up, the camera bag. What are we taking for our camera bag? Now, this is gonna be a little bit different because it's not a camera bag. It's a Louis Vuitton City key ball in this black Aerogram leather. So what I love about this bag is that it's small enough to just throw around the shoulder and carry around, but it's got a big enough interior to actually carry everything that I'm gonna need during this trip. I mean, obviously not my clothes and whatnot. This is just what I'm taking out of my hotel room to shoot with, but it's perfect. It's small, it's compact, it's easy to carry around with and hit all these multiple different locations. And it looks damn good too. So for my camera, I want to bring something that's small and compact, but powerful. Enters the Leica Q3, all reliable. I know this thing is gonna get the job done wherever I bring it. Whatever condition I throw at it, this camera's ready. So it's got a fixed Sumilux 28 millimeter F 1.7 ASPH lens, which means yes, I am fixed at 28 millimeters. Now this could pose as an issue to some people, but to me, it's not. It's a full frame sensor with 60 megapixels. So that means if I need to crop in on my subject and get a little bit closer, I can do that without worrying about sacrificing quality. It's also got 8K video recording, so if I do need to shoot any sort of video content while I'm in New York, the Q3 can do that as well. Now, I've also been dabbling in some film photography lately over the last few months, so I'm gonna be bringing along my Leica M6, and this is the 1991 version in the Panda colorway. Now, hear me out. I know there's a lot of hate on this Panda colorway, but I personally like it, and I like it more than the black M6 as well. 1991 also just so happened to be a pretty good year. So when I saw a pristine 1991 Panda M6 pop up on eBay, I bought it without even thinking twice, zero hesitation in the cart purchase. Now, as far as film goes, my favorite film so far has been Portra 400. So I'm gonna be bringing along five rolls of that and I'm gonna keep them safe in the film vault that my buddy Pete ever so kindly gifted me. This is not sponsored in any way. So this is one of Polar Pro and Peter McKinnon's latest collabs and it's a modern minimalist film roll canister made from premium lightweight aluminum that keeps your film safe. The rolls don't move around or shake in the canister and they have these O-ring rubber gaskets which makes them dust, debris, and water resistant. They have variants for both two rolls and five roll canisters and come for both 35 millimeter and 120 millimeter as well. Next up, to keep things charged and juiced, coffee. No, it's, it's a power bank by Belkin. So it's slim enough to just slip right into my bag without noticing it and powerful enough to charge my phone, which is all I really need to charge while I'm there. But if you need it to charge more, it can charge up to three devices at a time thanks to two USB-A ports and one USB-C port. It actually gives your phone an extended 40 hours of battery life. This is all just fancy jargon for it works. It does the job, thank you. Now, a lot less important, not what I'm shooting on, not what I'm keeping devices charged with. What's keeping my eyes safe? Sunglasses. I carry a pair of sunglasses literally everywhere I go, no matter what. So for these ones, I'm going with the Louis Vuitton Signature Round Sunglasses. You need a bit of fashion while you're shooting in New York City. Now, they're super light, feature a few nice subtle details like this engraved metal logo on the hinges here, and it says Louis Vuitton on the lenses. Now, normally whenever I'm traveling, my wallet is either this Goyard passport cover or the Goyard card wallet, I think they call it. But since I am going to New York City, I live in Canada, I'm gonna be crossing a border, which means I need my passport. So Goyard passport cover covered as for this trip. It's got a sleeve for your passport, four card slots, which would hold my driver's license, health card, debit card, and my American Express card. It's got an additional card pocket and a partitioned, partitioned pocket. What is a partitioned pocket? I don't, I said that on their website. I've never heard that terminology used in my life, but it, 
it has one. And finally, any time I travel, I do not leave without this. This is hand sanitizer. It's a good time to use hand sanitizer. Lots of dirty shit going on. Now, this might be the coolest little ball of hand sanitizer you've ever seen. It's obviously super slim and stylish and can just slide right into your bag, but it's all natural. It's hydrating and it doesn't make your hands smell like you just dunked them in a bottle of nail polish remover. So this one's by a company called Noshinku. Pretty sure I butchered that, but I don't know. I saw it online and I, I just didn't think that you could make a bottle of hand sanitizer cool. And this one rocks. Again, linked in the bio. I know you want it. So that's it. That's literally all for me that I plan to take to New York City. I think it's more than enough to get the job done, make sure I'm getting good photos, and not have a broken back lugging everything around the entire trip. Now, full transparency, I do know that some of this stuff is a little ridiculously priced, but it's the stuff that I'm into. I've always liked premium, well-built things. So that's what I'm taking. If you like the stuff as well, prove it by hitting the like button. And if you don't, leave a hateful comment or not. That's rude. Anyways, that's it for me. Thank you guys so much for watching the video. Please remember to subscribe and do all that good stuff. Yeah, happy shooting.